this is the main Flamingo Motel. If you talk about Wisconsin Dells and the Flamingo, right here is what people think about. Not sure if you can see that or not in the sky. Follow my finger. I just can't get a better view. There has to be the moon back there. An orange moon in the trees. You can see the light at least. Let's hope that's the moon and not a fire or something. <laughs> that would not be good. So here is the Flamingo Motel. The uh, camera is in a night mode that kind of gives it more light to see. This is an awesome camera for nighttime, but it is dark. Those people turned around and they're now coming towards me. That's the uh, moon back there, by the way. It's hard to see in the trees. Well, this is interesting. There's some lights on. That'll well, make it a little easier to uh, see my face when I want to look at the camera. I do have m one of my camera lights with me, but it's really obvious when I turn it on if anyone's driving by, like security or police because uh, as you could see it's uh, very well noted no trespassing it does work out having this motel lit up a little bit not much though but I really don't want to use my camera light it's almost like a spotlight that'll grab people's attention new in 2018 this is for Noah's Ark and this is already faded so this goes back a little bit. Noah's Ark Water Park, the uh, company that owns Noah's Ark is Palace Entertainment. And they are the ones that own the Flamingo here. I'm try and get away from the traffic a little bit. Go for a walk into this darkness. And um, so at any rate, they're the ones that own this place and uh, they shut it down. They just don't use it anymore. It doesn't have really good reviews either when it used to be open. And uh, I believe the village of Lake Delton, I'm just curious what this is back here. I know, you want me to go through? It's part of the fun for a uh, haunted video, right? Abandoned. There, you happy? <laughs> wow, look at these bricks and everything. <laughs> it even says stone on it. It's a brick. Um, at any rate, like I was saying, so the village of Lake Delton is uh, in the middle of a lawsuit right now with um, Palace Entertainment because they have condemned this property. It's really, really run down. Yeah, it's not in good shape at all. It would definitely cost way too much money to uh, to uh, bring this baby back to uh, just make it habitable for people to come in and use. You could kind of see the moon back there and the trees. The only lights that you can see are uh, the exit signs. So obviously the place still has power. My only concern of being in here in the dark is uh, just squatters. We don't need to uh, upset anybody. <laughs> That's the last thing we want to do. The, uh, I don't know if you can see it flashing. So all the lights back there, that's a part of Wisconsin Dells. Looking towards uh, Mount Olympus with the flashing light. That is on top of uh, the rise of Icarus. 
the uh, new water slide that came in for 2024. So why is uh, there a lawsuit now between Pellis Entertainment, who owns this place, and the village of Lake Delton, other than Lake Delton saying that this place is condemned? Well, that goes back a little bit. I'll explain all of that to you shortly. Indoor pool over here. We're not gonna see anything. So we got the back of the uh, basketball net, dirty window, sorry about that. It's actually a small room. The pool itself is almost as big as the room it's in. I don't see any signs of mouse droppings or anything, but then again, it's hard to see. I mean, it looks clean in there. Okay, give me a second for my eyes to adjust. I'm also on bunch of steps here curve oh geez yeah, pardon me as I uh, almost fall down the uh, don't fall off the uh, last step there good god that's all we need it's me just falling um, looks like there's a little light coming in this room in front of me here you spooked out yeah, you're not. You're protected with the screen. You could feel the heat from this building when the sun was hitting it today. Yeah, it's just locked up. One of the rooms here. I'll turn on my camera light again. Whoa! Now this I wasn't expecting. What a mess! Everything thrown around? I know that there have been some animals getting into the uh, buildings. I don't think they've done this. And uh, so some of the rooms I have heard that some animals have made a little bit of a mess. I don't want to get too close to the road with this light, but we'll try another room here. See what it looks like. Yeah, this one's a bit of a mess too. It's a big cinder block there sure what's going on in here screens you can see uh, if you look at the top left of the screen there I can't zoom in sorry but you can see a big hole in the ceiling maybe an animal is starting to come through from the attic I'm not sure huh. I could definitely feel the heat from the uh, building as the Sun was hitting it today just walking up to it to really retain the heat one more? All right. At least on this building. It's the Flamingo Motel on the uh, parkway here in Wisconsin Dells. Originally opened in 1965. Yeah, this place is a mess. Wow. What a mess. I wonder why. All the beds are just <laughs> like that. Is that, oh, it's just paint peeling. I thought somebody was trying to kill, oh, you know what? Okay, I'm gonna put the light on this really quick. See if I can dim this, put it into my body first. Hang on a second here, bear with me. I just want this dim. Like I said, we don't need to be getting attention off the uh, parkway. See that? Somebody did kick it in or tried kicking it in. Holes there. Tried to get in over there as well. Yeah. All right, let's turn that light off. Yeah, more about uh, the meetup coming up. Just keep watching. I'll get to that. People have just commented in some previous Wisconsin Dells videos over the last couple of years wondering about this place. This used to be like the little kiddie pond, a little splash pad sort of thing. 
<laughs> Kitty pond, yeah. yeah. Just throw the kids in a pond. Yeah, it's like a little splash pad. Little uh, mushroom thingamajiggy. Used to uh, have water spray off of it. Bucket would go over. Just drop all of the water after it would fill up after about a minute or two. <laughs> One of the outdoor pools. Yep, there's water in it. They don't have the uh, drains open, so it's just filling up. I don't know if they have anybody that's coming here just to look at this place at least at least a couple times a week. I really have no idea. My assumption would be the uh, staff at Noah's Ark. America's largest water park, since they're the ones that own this place, or at least oversee it for Palace Entertainment. Oh. <laughs> Maybe they saw a ghost. I can't see my face into the lens of the uh, camera into the screen here, so my guess is if I can't see it, you really can't see it. How's that? <laughs> I'm being blinded now. That didn't work out. That was scary, though. So let's just have you face the same way I'm facing. What do you think of this motel so far? Oh, there's more. There's a lot more coming up. I wanted to take a moment, though, to tell you about our Wisconsin Dells Winter Meetup coming up January 24th through the 26th. We have two different options on where you can stay, starting at only $134.68, and that's for the entire weekend, and that rate includes taxes. There are no resort fees. There are no hidden fees. The lodging begins at $134.68. Again, that's with tax. That's at the Natura Treescape Resort. And you can get a room with two queen beds or a room with one queen bed and a bunk. Now, if you want to stay at a hotel right along the Wisconsin River, then you'll want to check out the View Hotel. You can get a street side room with two queen beds at $222.28. Again, that does include tax. There are no resort fees. These are discounted rates, and that is for two nights. They also have rooms that face the river and rooms with balconies, and those are just for a little bit more. And you'll find all of that information on the community page here on the YouTube channel, on my Facebook page, and by calling reservations at area code 608-253-1231. And make sure you mention account number 1351, because that is how you'll get your discount. We'll be doing some fun games with a lot of great prizes. We'll do some hiking. I am also working on getting discounts for another winter activity, such as snow tubing. Please subscribe to the channel right now so you can get more information as I post more videos. But in the meantime, make sure you call 608-253-1231 and mention account 1351 for that discount. Now hurry because there are a very limited amount of rooms, so you'll want to lock this in as soon as possible. And even if you don't join us for some weird reason, you can still take advantage of this deal and just hang out in Wisconsin Dells. Again, there's more information on my Facebook page, the community page on this channel, and I I've got a little bit more information in the description of this video. All right, let's get back to the Flamingo. Okay, hang on a second. Let's just put this on me. Do you hear that? I was gonna show you, uh, I also heard a noise over here too. Great, now my imagination is playing with me. Now there's music or something. We're gonna step away from that building. <laughs> I don't like that building. It must be coming from across the street. I thought it was coming on from this side of the property. I want to go this way. It's a bright light, I'm telling you. Just kind of do this fast. Well, it's a good thing I didn't keep going here after these steps. That would have been a fun surprise. More buildings back there as well. So over here, I'm gonna shut the uh, light off. That building right in front of me, they had like suites. 
It's like four or five of them in there, in that one building. And uh, a long time ago, they looked really neat. Show you the uh, other outdoor pool they have here. I see the shadow of something. What is this? Well, yeah, that would have that would have been a problem. What is that? Oh, well, for Noah's Ark. Yeah, they used to have a uh, what they called an express entrance way down there to get into the water park. Oh, there's a light on in here. All right. Actually, it looks nice in there still, doesn't it? There's a six pack of bottled water on the counter in there. Yeah. Uh oh, hang on. <laughs> Uh, luckily, someone's just doing a U-turn over there. I do not encourage this, by the way. This is uh, something that uh, you should not do, but if you have to be nosy, just respect the property. Another light on over there. Yeah, I've never understood people some of these, uh, not even the uh, urban explorers, it's not them that come onto YouTube. You ever watch some of those channels, by the way? I mean, those guys, a lot of them are great. They're respectful. They'll show you things. They have been out of business forever. And maybe how the property's decaying or what it looks like now. Kind of like what we're doing right now. And they don't mean any harm. They're not hurting anything. They're just kind of showing us. And that's really what I'm trying to do and answer some questions of what the place looks like and I'll get to what's going on here also but the people they have to come in here and just destroy like the graffiti I don't get it that pool is yucky oh look at that water more of the uh, motel here I'll flip around really quick, just so you can see. Let's see, yeah, we're behind one of the buildings, so I'm not as nervous with a bright light. Get back to the uh, pool here a second. And here come the bugs, all right. We don't need any bugs. You ever do any exploring like this? Comment below. I'm not the only one that does this stuff, I know. But comment below if you have. And then let me know if you freak out after a little bit. Like your imagination starts to play tricks on you. Because that's what I've got going on here. Um, let me see. There's a, another pool area. Then I'm going to show you the very popular sign. And then uh, talk a little about this place in the winter meetup. Is this open just because it's lit up in there? Nah, it's locked. I don't want to put the light on. I'm back to those suites because there's a window across from it. See, and if I turn it on, it's going to shine right to the uh, Dells Parkway. But here's more motel. Here's the uh, suites. I'm gonna do this really quick here. And straight ahead down there is Noah's Ark, which I did not get a chance to visit this year for 2024. And it's not like me.
That moon's coming up, getting a little brighter too. <laughs> Perfect for this. keep hearing things and behind me to I'm sure it's an animal in a tree or something that's me stuffing on a leaf but uh, oh that thing just turned right away I'm gonna, looking at a different building here this one is uh, about the same a little bit of a, a little cleaner not as destroyed looking as some of the other rooms These are low lights. Can you see them? I'm surprised they survived all these years without uh, guests getting a little rowdy, ripping them apart. Really not much to see. It's, it's dark. Here's that uh, mighty flamingo sign. Ready for me to blind any oncoming traffic. There we go. So this part of the Flamingo was built in 1965. Definitely has had some changes in ownership as time has gone on. I remember this motel coming up over here. This was called the Hilltop. And uh, as time went on, Noah's Ark eventually took this over. I want to say they took Flamingo over back sometime in the 90s. Hilltop was acquired a little bit later and then just past the uh, Remax sign lit up over there That used to be the Mayflower Mayflower 1 and Mayflower 2 motel actually it was big property then uh, Noah's Ark took that over as well And I hate to say it, but they ran them into the ground So this was known as the uh, Hilltop. It's just the extended flamingo now it's nice of them to uh, light up the uh, pool deck for us. Ugh. Is that a phone? Look at that, the emergency phone from the box. Looks like there's stuff growing in there. You see all that black stuff? Like clumps of algae. Yeah, it gets dark back there. I believe at one time there was a hot tub here. Oh, it would have been the uh, steps right over there by that table to get in and out of it. Or maybe it was a kiddie pool. I don't know. It was something that held water. Whether it was for kids or if it was hot water, you decide. It's more fun that way. So the uh, rooms of the uh, hilltop, uh, I believe they were different. Well, I mean, obviously they, at one time they were different looking than Flamingo. But did Noah's Ark do any uh, changes to them? Well, let's find out. Little fire alarm things all over. I'll tell you, you hear the fire alarms going off at these places all the time. And the... Uh, yeah, looks like kind of the same. They uh, kept the uh, little paneling up there. TV's gone. Much better shape. It's not uh, destroyed like the uh, other ones. I'm sure it's locked. Um, so like I was saying, you hear the fire alarms going off, especially at the uh, Mayflower location, which we'll come to next. And uh, I don't know if those are kids just pranking. Now, there have been some fires at the uh, Mayfield, or Mayflower, I'm sorry, the Mayflower location. That's my light. Well, this one's got like a bunk bed. <laughs> Not like a bunk bed, but it is a bunk bed. No TVs in this one, huh? Good, uh, wash your hands. It's all pretty much the same. I don't think there's any reason for me to uh, walk around looking at each one. 
Oh look, another, uh, another little tunnel to go through. You know, I was curious about when was the last time this thing was inspected. I can't read that. Looks like a, the, there's a 2024 stamp on it. Yeah. There you go. Well, they at least took care of the uh, fire alarm. Or the, I'm sorry, the fire extinguisher for 2024. Yeah, I'm just checking some doors. They're locked. My son and I, we used to um, ride bikes and cut through here. And when, the, when they were out of business, when they were closed, this is vacant. Is someone trying to kick this in again? And, uh, uh oh. <laughs> it's open. I was going to say, anyways, when my son and I came back here with our bikes, a lot of the rooms were always just unlocked. So, no, we never went in. We just wanted to see which doors were unlocked, which ones were open. Alright, what's in here? I can't get in. Oh, there's stuff blocking it. Alright. Well, that was a false alarm. Sorry to tease you there. Couldn't get in. I'm not going to bother lifting this up. I just noticed there's a window up there. It's open. I'm just curious. Yeah, garage is locked. Yeah, I'm not going to uh, go in there. I'm sure that is a... Uh, obviously, it's a storage garage. Do you see that window right over there? Yeah, it's uh, it is open. Okay, so this would be the hilltop and the original flamingo back there. It's all flamingo. And in front of us is the old Mayflower and a beer van. Thirsty? It's Miller time. In Wisconsin, it's always Miller time. Mayflower here is pretty big. It's also got a light on in there. I can see some lights coming from under the uh, door over here. There's a light on upstairs. Huh. Pretty sure it was a cop that just drove by. Not even curious what I was up to. Okay, I hear voices again, and when you look around, it's really just me and you behind the screen. Why am I hearing voices again? See the light coming through the uh, door here? It's like barn door. Not sure. That was a uh, afterthought. This looks like it used to be a room. Yeah. What a mess. Wow. So the uh, Mayflower is uh, as destroyed as the uh, original Flamingo. room over here. Someone's gonna... Yeah, pretty sure it wasn't a cop. Like 100%. Uh, so this was the uh, laundry room. Look at that, they still have chemicals over here. For the machines. And they still have things folded up. Uh, oh! Uh, Home Depot, if you're missing shopping carts, I know where three of them are. Oh, <laughs> uh, they've got mold in there. Do you see it? They got fans going. On the wall back there, where the fans plugged in. Eh, we don't need my light. There's mold all over. Yeah, I wouldn't even want to go in there. That's lovely. There's, there's proof that's condemned, huh? Okay, so listen to this. The village of Lake Delton described the Flamingo Motel as a public nuisance, with electrical conduits visible in the walls, foundation settling, and animals living in the buildings. And the ventilation system was also not working properly, causing high moisture levels in the former indoor pool areas. Lake Delton is seeking to have the buildings raised. In March of 2024, Palace Entertainment filed a lawsuit against the village to prevent the demolition of the property. 
Pellis Entertainment is arguing that the village of Lake Delton went beyond its authority in ordering the demolition. As of late October 2024, it still is tied up in court. Did you get a chance to see the uh, haunted hotels that I did? There's two haunted hotels and one haunted bar in the previous video when I was in Star Rock with Kelly. Check that out. That was a great time making that. Um, in the uh, Hotel Kaskaskia, the abandoned hotel, I was able to get in there. Uh, not going to say who let me in. They had the authority to be in there. I didn't, but they were kind enough to let me go in with them a little bit. And uh, uh, one of the guys started hearing noises and then said I had to go. He got a uh, phone call and he was checking his voicemail because he was letting his calls go to voicemail. And he uh, was checking his voicemail, I guess, uh, maybe somebody in his office or maybe, I don't know who, but someone called and said, um, there's possibly somebody in the building. So that's when they said, you gotta go. So I left. Yeah, you're really not gonna see much here, but indoor pool. Yeah, I think we're better without the light on this one. That's yeah, just a big hole, no water. And for whatever reason, it is uh, taped off across the way there. See that? Another Mayflower room. That used to be the Mayflower. Look at how old the bed frames are. I mean, this goes back to like the 80s. Look at this light up here. It's got a cord. They didn't even, <laughs> they didn't even uh, wire it through the ceiling. Yeah, we'll just bring a cord. Hopefully the guests won't uh, electrocute themselves. All right, I know there's a step around here. Check out another room over here. How does room 1107 sound? If you've ever stayed here, comment below. When you came to Wisconsin Dells a long time ago, maybe this was your room. If it was, here's what it looks like now. <laughs> and once again with the uh, light, the cord dangling. Decent sized pool. Yuck. This one's a big pool, really deep. So there you go. That is what the Flamingo looks like as of basically late October of 2024. That was fun. An abandoned property in the dark. Heard some noises, heard some music, heard some voices. The voices could have just been the ones I usually hear in my head. And even though this wasn't haunted, it was abandoned, it was dark, I was getting a little freaked out. So the hauntings were in my head. But the next one is a real haunted hotel. I have to travel to uh, Milwaukee for that. And I'm going to uh, bring you there. So make sure you subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on that. Ring that bell notification as well so you know when I upload videos, which is always once a week, if not twice a week. And uh, tell a friend, share the channel, will you? It would, uh, that'd be fantastic. And the final request is please give this video a thumbs up. That would mean a lot. I'd love to get a comment from you. If you got a question or what your thoughts were about the Flamingo, or if you have any questions about the upcoming winter event, well, comment below, I'll get back to you. Until then, you'll see me in the next one. Bye-bye. Subscribe to Maverick Hay.